Hey y'all, it's David again today. Today we're going to be taking apart or disassembling a pre-built system or a custom built system. This also works good with a pre-built or a custom built. So stay tuned and see how it's done. Hey, this is David. Like I said in the intro, today we're going to be disassembling or taking apart a custom built PC. This will also work with pre built systems if you want to upgrade them or if you're looking to build your own or if you got a system you just need some parts out of. Let's get started, shall we? To start this process, guys, it's pretty simple. Go to the back of the computer. You're supposed to have four thumb screws in the side panels. I've done taking two out just to save time here. Take them four screws out set them to the side and we're going to pop side panels off now this system I built I don't know four years ago this is my personal rig I'm actually going to do a don't be doing upgrades to it but I figured this would be a good time to uh, also show you how to disassemble and they'll also put the first build video on my channel all right so now we got the side panels off where to start huh well if you ever build a pc you know the first, last thing you ever put in is your graphics card so you pretty well do it the opposite way that you did it when you built the pc so that's where we're going to start at here's the graphics card take a phillips head screwdriver Now some of these ports in this system I want to keep. Uh, a lot of them I want to be reusing. I'm going to be reusing the motherboard, the CPU, uh, the RAM, the uh, hard drive, the hard drive, and the uh, SSD. I'm going to be keeping all those ports because I'm going to be putting them in my next system. Um, I'm upgrading the case. I'm upgrading the power supply and the graphics card. Take the two screws out of the back, wiggle the wire, unplug it. Get a little safety clip right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right here you get a little safety clip. Depending on your motherboard, you push it to the side or push it down. There's your graphics card pulled out. Pretty simple, ain't it, guys? It ain't, this ain't rocket science. Um, next thing, we'll take the hard drive and SSD out. Undo your wires. This side of power your side of data and for both drives and again guys this is pretty simple you know about the only thing you'll need is a uh, number two phillips head screwdriver for these sometimes you run into a number one there we go take the screw off of the ssd and i'm gonna keep my screws um like i said i will be putting these back into another case I will be keeping my screws. Uh, which other case I got, I think they'll come with its own screws. But, you never know. You can't never have too many screws, guys. I'd rather have too many screws than not enough, you know what I mean? If I get just throwing them around, and if I happen to need one, I'll never find them. And that may hold up my build. As I take it apart, I'm going to put my screws back where they came from. Okay, there's the SSD out. Now I'll get on the screw head and I'll take my hard drive out. This is a cheaper case, so it ain't quite as easy to build in as some of the uh, more expensive cases. You'll probably see that throughout the video. Um, like I said, when I built this system, it was four years ago, I was on a total budget. Um, so I had to cut corners where I could, and I messed myself up by cutting corners with a cheaper case. Uh, I put your screws in the back of it, yes I did. I don't want to cut anything out of the video, guys. Taking the third screw out. I'm trying to. There we go. 
and then went to the video cord. All right, now for all the screws out, the hard drive slides out. There's your hard drive. Pretty easy to exchange hard drives and uh, SSDs, depending on the case it's in. It ain't, like I said, guys, it ain't rocket science. All right, to take out the power supply, got four screws, four screws back here in the back. And as you'll see throughout this process, the only thing I'll basically use is a screwdriver and a pair of wire cutters. The only thing I'll use the wire cutters for is for my zip ties that I put in the system when I build it. Um, other than that, Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, it's nice to have a pair of near nose pliers laying around just in case you need them, which I'm hoping I didn't, but I may need a pair of near nose pliers to help get my motherboard out. Um, sometimes them standoffs will uh, strip off in these cheap cases like this. You don't have to hold them still while you take the screws out to get your motherboards out. Like I said, I hope I didn't, but there is a possibility of it. Alright. There we go. Power, power supplies are all nice and loose now. Okay, and then you reach up here and you pull out your 24 pin connector from your motherboard. It's up there on the side. And your 4 pin motherboard. Yeah, your 4 pin motherboard. Alright, like I said, this is why I got the wire cutters. For that 4 pin, I got a wire tied up here to the case. Get the wire tie. Let me throw that away, guys. I don't need no used wire tires laying around. That's trash. It's junk. All right. And the power supply should slide out once you get the rest of the front and belly uh, untangled from it. Go ahead and pop these side cables off, too. They're just getting in my way. There's your power supply out, guys. Looks a little bit different than the one that you see me open up from Corsair 650. Or the RM650 from Corsair. But that's that's the power supply that came with the case. That's what you get when you buy a bundled case and power supply. You get a cheap old power supply. I'm actually surprised that thing lasted as long as it did. Exactly. Especially with what I was doing with it. Okay. Now next thing, front and belt holes. Now this is now these are gonna be different depending on your motherboard. Just reach in here and pop these out. These here stay within the case. Uh, these do not disconnect from the case, so slide them out the back and get them out of your way, guys. Alright, now all you got left, boy that thing's awful dusty in there. It'll be all right though. Um, let's see, we got one more cab power cable right there for that fan I had to disconnect. All right, now the best way to do this is to have this thing laying down. So uh, I'll be right back and get you a zoomed uh, a shot of it laying on its back and uh, me taking the screws out of the motherboard. This is a micro ATX board. Um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six screws that we have to take out. I'm hoping you can see this pretty good. Um, when you're taking them out, it don't matter which order you take them out in. Just pick one and start unscrewing them. There we go. Number two coming out nice and easy for me. And 
is number three. Okay. Oops. Hey, guys, don't do that. That's rough on the computer. And it makes loud noises throughout the house. Make sure your neighbors are woke up by doing that kind of stuff. Uh, there it is. Wish I had a six inch extension bit for this one. This is a little bit of a tight spot here beside the ram slots. But we'll get her. No fear. There we go. Should be one more screw right up here in this corner. Should with a little bit of a wiggle should pop right up out pull completely right up out of the system and when you're doing a swap like this guys don't forget this that's that is considered the io shield they are uh different for each and every motherboard so if you're planning on using your motherboard for anything you'll need this with your motherboard and as you guys can tell the case is pretty well empty Nothing else in the case. So we can set that over to the side now. Hey guys, now we're down to the nitty gritty. Now we're just taking off the CPU cooler, the CPU and the RAM off. Which is usually the places I start with to begin with. Like I say, is this backwards or build it? This is an AMD system. So you just take this little lever, pop it up, and do your clamp on this side. Yeah, and do the clamp on this side. You give it a little bit of a wiggle because you do have that thermal paste underneath there. And it pulls right off. That's your CPU heat sink. Your RAM on this motherboard's got two clips, one on each side of each RAM stick. Just pull them out and pull your RAM sticks up out. Just that simple, guys. That's how you take a computer apart uh, as far as the processor. Since this is an AMD, this little gold level right here just pull it straight up and make sure it clicks unlocks your cpu and right there's your cpu with all them pretty pins on it i don't know how many's on there but there's a hell of a lot of them and of course before we use cpu we'll take some uh thermal uh something to clean the back of that off get the all old thermal paste off of mm. And there's your motherboard, along with your IO, IO shield for it, ready to go for your next build or ready to go for the scrapyard, depending on what your situation is. Alright guys, that's about it for tearing down a computer, for disassembling and uh, taking the parts out of a computer, that's pretty well it. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button, if you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Don't forget to leave me a comment, come follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Until next time, you guys be safe and you have a good day.